welcome back to my channel on today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys something about foundation obviously you can tell because I have no foundation on my face right now but this video is going to be very interesting one because I am gonna be kind of testing it out and first impressions because I haven't tried it and we're gonna be testing it out together so what I'm gonna be doing on this video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a very maybe cheap or low coverage or just sucky foundation and make it into a high coverage full coverage high-end foundation so I am so excited to test it out because I have had that experience where you buy a foundation and it completely sucks there is no coverage so this is going to be able to save you guys maybe some money I know a lot of people cannot go out and buy every single kind of foundation that there is because they're expensive let's be honest what you could do is just buy a foundation and if you need a little bit more coverage you know to go out or to a party you can do this little hack and it will help you out so much and you don't have to be buying you know 20 million different foundations so if you want to know how to make a cheap low coverage foundation into a high coverage just keep on watching okay so we're gonna get started and the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is I literally just purchased this for the purpose of the video because I remember this foundation I used to use it a lot and it has no coverage like at all as you guys know I like a very heavy full coverage foundation all the time I never purchased this but I wanted to show you guys how a very low coverage can turn into a super high coverage foundation so this ranges in price at $11 so it's not that cheap but it doesn't have any coverage so I think that is super expensive for a non coverage foundation and this is the L'Oreal true match foundation this is like an OG like this has been around for like 20 years already <laughs> and my favorite foundation is the Maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 220 this is my favorite foundation it costs five dollars and it's super full coverage in the package it says that it's light to medium but I see no light to medium like this is extremely full coverage and I love it so much I know that also if you guys buy a very inexpensive foundation you know maybe elf or the dollar store or wherever you decide to purchase your foundation I know sometimes it might not have the best coverage so this is a little hack that you guys are gonna be able to do all you're gonna need for this hack is going to be your foundation whatever foundation you want to make a little bit stronger and a compact powder it doesn't have to be the Mac but you can use whatever compact powder you have that has color on it well your skin tone color on it the powder that I'm gonna be using is my Mac studio fix powder this is my favorite ever I use this to set my foundation always it just adds that little extra coverage on my face I know I don't need like super high coverage but I just love having that very like porcelain looking face <laughs> so this is my favorite and I'm in the shade NC30 just in case you want to know because I know a lot of people ask and this is all you're gonna need to make that perfect full coverage foundation okay so what I'm gonna be doing first is I'm gonna go in with the foundation and do half of my face so you guys can see the difference so I'm gonna be using the same amount on each side so just letting you guys know so I'm going to be doing the same steps as I usually do to prep my face before I apply my foundation. So I go in with my Mario Badescu Rose Water to kind of hydrate the face. So after your face is done drying, I'm going to be applying a little bit of this primer around my T-zone where I have, you know, my huge pores that I'm pretty sure you can see with this camera. I will be using my Beauty Junkies Beauty Blender. So for the foundation, I'm going to be applying a little bit with a synthetic flat brush. I have a lot of pink spots in my face as you guys can tell. I mean, I guess it just covers like the redness a little bit, but it doesn't make your face look flawless. I hope you guys are able to see that. This is for sure a really good, very natural foundation. If you don't want to look like you have makeup on, but you do have makeup on, if that makes any sense. But if you have any like acne or rosacea or very dark under eye circles, this will not do anything for you as you guys can tell i have like little pimples right here and i have some birthmarks around my cheek and it's not covering any of those up nope 
at all. Okay guys, so this is the end result of the foundation. Just the foundation and this is how it's looking so far. As you guys can tell, I have some few birthmarks on the side of my cheek. I'm pretty sure you guys can see them, hopefully on camera. I had a little bit of redness. There's still a little bit of redness. It hasn't fully gone away. The pimples on my forehead and then I have a little bit of birthmarks around here and you can still see everything. So it's very... I guess it just gave me that natural looking face so yeah this is the way it's giving it to me i didn't apply a lot just so you guys can see what this foundation is doing to my face because even if i were using this one and putting a little bit this would cover so much on my face so now we're going to be doing the fun part just like that the same amount as i applied on the other side i'm going to be taking my compact powder and a butter knife and what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to make it into a very finely milled powder so just start scraping it very slowly you know you don't want to break all of it if you guys have a mineral powder that has color in it that'd be perfect you can use that so my mommy's hand is going to be helping me hold this so you guys can see what i'm doing so i'm just going to be dumping the powder on top of the liquid thank you mom i love you so much forever and then just mix it until you see all the little powder particles disappear into the liquid okay so this is how it ended up looking like as you guys can tell it's not runny the other one is like going all over the place and now i'm just going to be applying it to my face whoa 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 like right away you could see holy damn girl Once you apply it with the brush, you could tell the difference right away. It feels thicker. The color just got brighter too. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's really cool. Okay, so after I applied it, I'm going to start blending. Oh, wow. Yeah, it feels like if I were applying a cream foundation, it's not as easy as like to blend it out. But the coverage is bomb. Ooh yes do you guys see the difference oh my gosh okay so after you apply this i feel like you need to go in and blend it out immediately since it has the powder in the foundation it's basically setting it at the same time so you need to work quickly with this let's see how it covers my under eye circles and i'm just going to be blending it oh yeah it works so much better if you work fast at blending like right after you apply so first impression of this is that it is bomb.com it completely transformed the foundation i'm sure it's very noticeable in the camera because i could see that it's this side is like i don't even have foundation on and on this side it's like the perfect foundation coverage that i always love when i do my makeup and you guys don't have to be doing this every time you apply your makeup but this does save you some money if you don't want to buy you know two different kinds of foundations if you like that very natural i don't have any foundation on look this is perfect for you 100 i'm with you on that one it is really natural and nice it doesn't feel heavy very lightweight on this side it doesn't cover any of my blemishes it just kind of evens out the skin tone without covering basically anything and on this side it evens everything out and it covers everything on my face so this is an amazing hack but it's definitely your own taste if you like a very you know low coverage or if you like a high coverage you can make both out of the same foundation so i'm going to be showing a very up close so you guys can see the difference between the two sides this side is the side i mean i'm pretty sure you guys can tell so i don't even have to explain it but this is how the face looks you guys see the beauty marks right there a little bit of pinkness on my cheeks and then those not cute pimples <laughs> and then on this side it's like full coverage and i love it so much oh my gosh and i was about to say this is a finished look but this is not finished at all i didn't add any contour or blush or anything to the face just so you know you guys can see the difference now that everything is done i know foundation is very personal i'm just giving you a little option if you don't want to go out and buy more foundation or spend more money on something that you know you're not going to be using all the time because you don't like full coverage all the time but you can transform your foundation i want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for being here with me today we are only 2,000 subscribers away from hitting 100k i am so excited i didn't 
think this day would ever come but now we're so close to being there I want to welcome all my new Vixies to my channel I know I haven't really had the chance to you know welcome you guys properly but I will be doing a video very soon dedicated to you guys leave me any ideas down below of what we could do to celebrate 100,000 subscribers oh, I'm so excited I can't believe like we're almost there almost there <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you want to be more in contact with me you can follow me on my social media I have snapchat Instagram and Twitter. I will leave those down in the description box. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!